what Tom Martin's claimed was that he came up to the room and there was an argument, um, but there were no bruises on either of them, no mark the blood that were on, was on them was Jason's blood, um, no torn clothes, nothing at all. Um, and what I believe happened is a different story. Would you like to share it with us? Um, well, I believe that Molly Martin's planned to kill Jason um, and that all the evidence pointed towards it. I was disappointed there wasn't a first degree charge. Um, I believe that I know that Jason had a bag packed um, with the kids' clothes. Uh, he was going to leave. He'd been looking up flights. Um, that he had been drugged, and the toxicology report shows the drugs in his system. And those drugs come from, you suspect, came they from? Were, they were prescribed to Molly Martins right. on the Friday before Jason was murdered. You think he might have, she might have spiked his food yes, or drink? Yes, absolutely. And, and that's that, what I believe. And that he was asleep? Yeah, that then... he was asleep and that he was hit in, the, hit in bed while he was asleep and that Molly Martins um, hit him, you know, to with an inch of his life uh, with the brick. And I believe she went and got her father as he lay dying. And her father came up and did hit Jason with the baseball bat. And there were post-mortem hits on Jason's body um, afterwards. And I believe they left him to die. I believe that, you know, they waited to call 911 um, when the EMT arrived, um, you know, and they gave evidence that Jason's body was cold. Um, I believe they left Jason to die before they called 911. I think Jason was probably dead a long time before they actually called 911.